Welcome back to the channel, y'all. We're gonna name it Broken Garage. That's gonna be the new name of the channel, I tell you. Colin's transmission broke today, just like the rest of them. I think we're on like number five or number six or number seven of broken eighth gen, ninth gen transits. So, we pulled Arlen out. It is the weekend, so do not be mad at me, everyone. It is my time to hang out and fix broken transmissions. <laughs> Comes in threes, I tell you. So? Fives. Fives. Let's jack this thing up, get this transmission out, and see what's all broken. Fourth seems to be the one. Let's see what other carnage we got. Enjoy this week's video, y'all. Dang, a little live action for y'all right there. For whatever reason, they don't have a front mount. Weird. Easy money. Easy, he says. The cradle's out, not too long into it. Sun's been doing this basically by himself, but I've been eating some sunflower seeds and just hanging out, helping where I can. But now, a little bit of electrical, uh, passenger side motor mount, some shift cables, and this transmission will drop right down. So easy peasy lemon squeezy, let's dive into some more action y'all. I called it. I'm actually seven minutes early, y'all. Said it'd be out by midnight. And it is. It's on the ground. She's all broken. We're gonna pull it apart on the green cart and see what's all broken. We know fourth makes noise. There could be multiples. Could just be the one. Could be one tooth. Could be several. Transmission fluid looked, smelt, just like the rest of them. It's all, watch yourself. <laughs> watch the toes. It's all bad, and uh, yep, that's where we're at. Let's uh, pull this transmission apart. See how long he's gonna be down for, y'all. She's splitting. She's splitting. Um, small flat head over here. Oh, there's one take up on it. Yep. We're gonna see what's going on with this thing. Just maybe see what's going on with it. It's gonna be the usual. Ow! Easy. Talk about stabbing you! Oh my god! 
<laughs> Damn! Hopefully y'all just seen that, because it just straight stabbed my ass. <laughs> Now grab a pair of needle nose real quick. Okay. Yes. Ow. Yeah, did you see it? It stuck in my finger and I, as I shook it off. Inside. Closed. Inside this right here. Yep. And then open it up. Yep. Okay, you can let go. All right, now grab, yep. Good old cameraman over there. We'll catch in with you guys when this is, no, it's on top of the bearing, so it don't oh, yeah, matter. Off, yeah, right. Bearing's underneath of it. It's just cause it's broke and it's stuck and it might be the final drive bearing that's stuck. It's never been apart. So I'll catch you guys when it's apart. So it could be a rookie mistake, but I think the speed sensor sits below the uh, reverse gear and that's what it was caught up on that apparently. Boop. I think ours sits above it. I think there sits below it. Could be wrong, could all be the same case, but I think that's the case. And then there's, ninth gens have this little baffle that sits right in there. Ours don't have it. Good little oil pickup, but as expected, fourth gear, two teeth, identical to our eighth gen. So truthfully, he could have probably drove this thing for another 50,000 miles if he wouldn't have been beaten on it. He would have just kept driving, making a little bit of noise. These wouldn't have done no damage, especially if these two teeth would have found their own cells right onto the magnet. Then there would have definitely been no harm, no foul. It would have just uh, skipped a little bit there on fourth, but it wouldn't even skip to the gear itself. It would have just made noise. But anyways, he's gonna figure out what he's gonna do there. We're gonna put the car back together, get it out of the way. So come Monday, we can get back to work. Catch y'all with something else. Well, shit, there was a ninth gen sitting here, but now there's a loose clamped CL sitting here. Let me tell you, Colin, he got lucky y'all. His car's back on the road. He found a transmission here local, got it for a streaming deal of a price, couldn't be mad at it, but he's back on the road. We gotta do shift cables and possibly, just possibly, it was one of those, it was funny, I was like, hey, what's that throw out bearing look like? And he goes, ch -ch -ch -ch. and I said, yep, that looks good. And he slapped it in. I think the ears broke on the throw out bearing. It's a little hard to grind or a little hard to shift, it lunges a little bit. It was good before. It could have been. It could be a slave or a master cylinder that happened to go bad when we pulled these things out. You can have a perfectly running vehicle, bring it in, change your brakes, and then all of a sudden it don't want to start. I mean, it can happen. It's facts. I'm not making this stuff up. It's just. It's just the nature of the beast. But he's on the road. It's running and driving. We'll dive into it a little more this weekend. But we've got this CL in. It's going from automatic to manual. It's an automatic trans now. We're gonna slap a manual trans in this thing. We have one for it. I think this is it here. It's got all the goodies. Everything, including the starter. So we've got starter, shifter, axles, clutch, everything we could possibly think of for this thing. And then I am waiting on a pedal assembly. I talked to a gentleman and he actually thinks he might have one versus me having to like come up with one and then a computer. So that's where we're at. Let's dive into some action and see how the rest of this week goes. Sheesh, this video is gonna be everywhere. But on the bright side, that thing rolls. Rolls all on its own. The wheels, well, they just barely fit. Them wheels aren't the ones for the car, but hey, we gotta make do with what we got. So I got it rolling, it's outside. Colin's working on dropping this uh, transmission. And I'm working on making this uh, eighth gen right here all wheel drive. So let's uh, dive into some action and see if we can't make something happen. Yes, I'm not the first, not the last. 08 Civic Si, going all wheel drive. We've got everything to do it. Let's get it done. Well, that old blown out suspension. Hopefully we get some new stuff on there.
never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life. I never miss that stack, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing what I mean, and I bring it to the mad light, ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail, I took the red pill, I know life's short, so I wanna live real, but how's it supposed to feel? After a quick water break, I got this thing done, y'all. Nah, just kidding, it ain't even close. Colin worked on the rear end some today, getting the trailing arms and all that out. Customer's gonna send all that stuff out to get powder coated. And then I worked on Lee's a little bit, trying to play with that shifter and all that fun stuff. And then this thing came in today. It took up a lot of my time, but hey, it's another quick, good, easy one. We gotta finish up this cage. It's got some mistakes, it's got some problems, we gotta fix some things. Hey, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna make it right, but I'm gonna definitely make it better. No one else wanted to tackle this thing. I think it's pretty safe. Once I'm done with it, it'll be fine. And then we worked on the J manual swap J-series car today as well. So it's been pretty good overall, but now y'all are in for a treat. Let's just say that. This is a motorcycle tank. Uh, it's leaking. It's a stunt tank. It's all been welded and cut and made up. It's pretty cool. But this guy likes to do a bunch of stomping and sitting and bouncing around and bouncing around. All the good stuff on this. And it's leaking from here and it's leaking from there. The two mounting points. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do something. Let's I'm dive into it, y'all. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement Everything I do so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented it Being negative when you should be getting after it Oh, good old spot welds What a booger they are But hey, I got them I got a little hole over here to fix now But that was the hole that we were originally after They were just putting too long of bolts in this thing And bottoming out so I'm gonna take and I'm gonna weld that pocket in right there so they can't continue to do that because they should just be putting a bolt in that's as long as that and uh, not any much longer there. So I'm gonna go ahead, weld this all up and then go ahead and do that other one. All right, y'all, I just got all that cleaned up. I just got my little plate tacked back on there. It's like three quarters destroyed. So what I'm gonna do is weld that all the way around the best I can. And then I'm gonna throw another little plate over the top of it. And that should hold that thing in extra good. I have to make sure I can do that. If not, I might have to cut this, pry it open, weld that inner circle, bring that back down, tack it back. We'll see, let's dive in, see how it goes. I got my butt kicked and I got sidetracked, but it is all done. 
It's all welded up. It was a little bit of a chore, but I whooped it. Always a good day when you got those skilly willy in the house let me tell you new day around here y'all and as you guys just seen we just got this trans stabbed onto the engine pretty painless that worked out good I found a gentleman here with a flywheel thank goodness and then he had this old stuff but we went ahead through a new clutch pressure plate and throw out pilot in that thing so that should work out real good for our Man, can it there get that thing back on the road, hopefully. I'm gonna have a lot of electrical to do on it, but hey, comes with it, you know? And I'm over here working on Lee's, getting the shifter stuff figured out, fuel relay, making sure I get fluids in this thing, oil pans tight, all my seals are in it. I gotta put a plug in the back for that vent box, a few little things there. But I'm gonna end it there for the week. Y'all gotta see a little bit of fun. It wasn't a whole lot of fun. But hey, we made it through the week. We got some things done. And next week, oh, we gonna be busy. I got a 10 foot tall side by side coming in here, y'all. It's gonna be great. We got a cage job here. We got the all wheel drive cars going. We're gonna have that one buttoned up. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll catch you next week. Hit that like, subscribe and share and drop some comments down there, y'all. Let's get them comments going.